In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to selectively apply a theme to a modern look model driven app. Now, in my previous video, I've covered a section whereby I showed you how to apply a theme to a model driven app with the modern look enabled. Now, the issue with that particular uh, approach is that uh, when you apply a theme to a model driven app, any model driven app within that specific environment will get that theme. So if you have 10 applications, 10 model driven app within in an environment, and if you change a theme to one of the application, it applies to all. Now, what if we do not want other application to get the theme? So this video is all about that. So first we are going to check how to apply header theme to model look enabled app. Then we will check how to selectively enable or disable theme for different model driven app. Uh, and then how to stay away from the default settings. Now, the configuration which we are going to look is one is web resource, the web resource which will house the XML file, which has the app header color settings. And then there is a setting called as override app header color. So uh, this is how the uh, solution would look like on the top. This is like a couple of solutions which has model driven app and then the settings. Uh, and also uh, we have this uh, how to make those changes uh, and selectively apply it to a specific app so let's jump into the demo quickly so what i'm going to show you first is uh, if you navigate to this resource whereby uh, you can see how to apply a model driven apps modern theme overrides so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this xml file from microsoft website now here uh, i have visual studio code open so i'll just open file new file and then call it as uh, may theme okay and i'll call this a may theme.xml now uh, i'm just going to save this may theme.xml create file and then paste it now this is the by default color provided by microsoft which is uh, dark green in color but uh, i may need to use something else okay so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to pick some color from the website so maybe let me pick up this yellow color from here so for that i'm going to use a uh, uh, power toys tool called as enable color picker so there's a color picker tool so i will enable the color picker and the shortcut is window shift c so the moment i do that window shift c then it picks up a color it gets a color picker and then we can pick up whatever color we want so i'll just gonna pick up this pick this color so the hex code is efc636 so i'm gonna just copy this and i'm gonna paste it in my xml file so the background is this color you can pick any other color tool uh, as you desire so this is just a simple change i have made and i'm just save this xml file now this file xml file is saved now first thing what you need to do is uh, uh, just to set the stage i'm going to show you this is the power apps make dot power app solution file uh, i'm going to create a separate solution file for this particular uh, video uh, there are four different apps within this tenant so there is a car app then there is an ad travel request app timesheet approval app and leave request app. So if you see all these four apps, so just assume that within this environment, there are four model driven app and you want to apply theme only to the ad travel request app. Uh, or maybe uh, then we will add the theme to timesheet approval as well. So we do not want all the theme to get applied uh, to different, different application. And we would like to selectively remove the application from the theming. So what do you need to do? First, go to a new solution and then create a solution and call it as May 2024 solution. And I'll select the publisher and I'll create. So I'm creating a default solution, uh, creating a solution which has nothing in it, May 2024 solution. And I'm going to add a web resource. So the web resource is basically the XML file which we have just created, which is called as mayTheme.xml. I'm going to select that. And I'll call this as May theme as a display name and the name as May theme. Uh, it's an XML file. So that's it. Click on save. Now this XML file, we are going to uh, refer to uh, adding those app header color to the application. So for that, what you need to do is you need to go to add existing more and setting and then type header. If you just search for header, then you will see a couple of options, override app header color, override app header color, web resource. So let me open override app header color and show it to you first. And I'll add this, the setting definition. So override app header color, if you see over here, it has 
couple of options over here. So the description says settings allows admins and makers to enable and configure features for all apps in an environment or individual apps. Now over here you can set the environment value and then set the app value. Okay, so now the app value you can, cannot do anything over here as you see over here you can't do anything on this section. Okay, but uh, we will see more items over here as in when we do the next step. Okay, so first thing what we need to do is here we need to specify the uh, internal name gear underscore may theme okay so this is the internal name for the theme okay so what this action does is it is pointing the theme uh, to all the model driven app okay so i'll just click on save and if you have put the setting correctly just remove this unt untick and publish all customization so now the customization is getting published and now these are the default theme if you see the header it's purple color it's a default theme which is uh, available out of the box now make sure that new look is enabled for all your application for which you are making those changes okay so all this theme is set now once it is published and uh, say take for example if i just refresh this car application then the theme will be applied okay now currently it is not getting applied uh, because it's still uh, in that publish mode and once that publishing is done we should be able to see the theme being applied so let me continuously refresh this application yes now as i refresh this application you see the header has turned into yellow okay so let me do a control f5 and let me do a control f5 Control F5. Or maybe if you want to refresh all the screen at once, you can just select the tab. Uh, you can just select, uh, press Control, and then just do a right click and click on Refresh so that all the four tabs get refreshed. Now, as you see over here, uh, for some of the application, it is uh, not at change. For some application, it does change. So just give it some time. So as you see over here, all this application's header bar has now changed to yellow. Now we have like more model driven app within this tenant, but we are just focusing on the four model driven app. Now it has applied the theme to all the model driven app. But what if we do not want the theme to be applied to uh, maybe timesheet or leave request application? Okay. So then what are we going to do? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a model driven app within the solution. So I'll click on add existing app and then model driven app. Now here I should be able to see the timesheet approval request. So if I just type time, then I'll see the timesheet approval request app. Okay. So I've just added one model driven app within the solution. Now, if you navigate to override app header colors, then in the setting app value, you will see this model driven app over here. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's add leave request application as well. So if I go to add existing app model driven app, and if I just type in leave, I'll select leave request app, click on add. Then what happens is I have two model driven app over here within the solution. Now, if I go to override app header color, I should be able to see two items. So as in when you add this model driven app, you will see this entry. So you can make uh, you can selectively enable or disable the theme now by default as you have seen this yellow color theme is applied to all the model driven amp within this system okay so if you do not want that behavior and if you say that oh i don't want the theme to be applied to timesheet or leave request approval i just want it to be applied to air travel so then what you can do select those timesheet and leave request go to the solution and click on new app value and just say false okay you do not want this to be applied so if you select false and just click on save 
And once you saved it, so what we have done, we have uh, said that for leave request application and timesheet approval request, we do not want that header of yellow color. Now, once it is saved, click on publish all customization. And once this customization is published, then uh, air travel request will have this yellow color. Timesheet approval request and leave request application should not have this yellow color because we have explicitly mentioned that we do not want timesheet approval app and leave request app to have those header colors set from the theme. So let me refresh this now. And even I'll refresh the leave request application. Still getting published. So it might take a while. So what you can do is like if the changes are not getting applied immediately, uh, then you can just run a developer tool and then try to uh, empty cache and do a hard refresh. So if you see over here, we have put a developer tool. I've just enabled the developer tool, so F12, and just do an empty cache and hard refresh. Go to this section, just stop this, refresh this, and just say empty cache and hard refresh now as you see over here this particular application already has this now the purple theme so despite of applying the theme to uh, the solution over here we have added me theme and uh, we have now explicitly mentioned for timesheet and leave request app we do not want the app header color to be applied so like this if you have say two more model driven app within your uh, tenant and if you do not want that theme to be applied add those application in the solution and then go into override app header color and here you will see a couple of more entries now you see only two entries because you just have two model driven app within the solution but if you have more you can go and then make that changes and just say false okay and then once you do that then only timesheet approval app and leave request approval app will not have that header theme however if we refresh this add travel request app then uh, this add travel request app still should have that yellow color theme applied so this is how you basically selectively add the theme to a model driven app using the modern theme that's it folks that's all about modern theming and how to selectively apply it to a model driven app thanks for watching